Oh. Yes? You're Albert Einstein. Thank you. You've probably heard before that Einstein failed math in high school. Well, that's not true. He was actually a pretty good student. Get your facts straight. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts, the series where we reveal, you guessed it, five random facts about a fascinating topic. Today we're counting down five things you would have known about your IQ if only you were a little bit smarter. Check out the big brain on bread! Number five. Brain trainers boost your memory, not your IQ. I'm not stupid. I know you're not stupid, Eddie, but don't make the classic smart person's mistake thinking no one's smarter than you. The market is flooded with video games and websites that claim to train your brain. How? This scientific animation explains it all! <laughs> Actually, experts say there isn't any proof that these games actually raise your intelligence. One study in 2013 found that while brain trainers won't boost your IQ, they can help you boost your working memory. The authors claim this is actually significant, as psychologists had always argued that there was actually no way to improve your general memory ability. That stuff's amazing. Works better if you're already smart. Don't go too hard on them, though. One study in 2010 found that while doing a lot of mentally stimulating activities can keep your brain working better longer, it can also speed up the progress of dementia after it's diagnosed. I don't know you. What's going on here? Am I supposed to know you? Number four, you'd never guess what lowers your IQ or who's behind it. Okay, top three surprising things that lower your IQ. One, anesthesia. Children who receive general anesthesia before the age of four have a lower IQ. Two, infections. Not just brain infections, but any kind, and not just temporarily, according to one study of nearly 200,000 Danes. Three, spanking. A 2009 study looked at data from around the world and concluded that corporal punishment slowed mental development. Now this may sound a little conspiratory, but a study from Harvard University said that fluoride in the water supply can also lower your IQ, though other research disputes this. Wait a second, top three facts? Three points, like a triangle, or a pyramid, an Illuminati pyramid. Damn you, Illuminati, get your reptilian claws off of my IQ. And the Illuminati know that they're finally primed for world domination. Number three, breast milk makes you smarter. Breastfeeding leads to a higher IQ. Okay. Well, actually, the science isn't quite definitive on that. I was bottle fed, it never slowed me down. A recently published study followed 3,500 Brazilian newborns for 30 years and concluded that longer breastfeeding duration is linked with increased intelligence in adulthood, longer schooling, and higher earnings. Your son is so cute. Yeah. How old is he? Oh, he's uh, 48 months. That's four. The authors speculate that the reason for this is probably the fatty acid DHA, which is found in breast milk. Uh, I, I think. Your confusion's understandable, though you were bottle fed. The DHA is also present in some other foods like flaxseed oil and wild fish, and in organ meats like liver and brain. Yep, feeding your kid brains might make them smarter. It is good. Number two, an extra IQ point could earn you $18,000. The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. That's a right triangle, you idiot! Go! Researchers estimate that a difference of one IQ point translates to an average of 18,000 US dollars difference in lifetime earnings. Using this figure, scientists can calculate hidden costs of things like pollution. For instance, the IQ loss to mercury contamination globally results in an average lifetime earnings loss of 344 US dollars. About the cost of these vintage Einstein cufflinks. And remember that study that said anesthesia lowers IQ for toddlers? Well, all that surgery could be costing 540 billion US dollars in lifetime earnings every year, which is about the GDP of Poland. Granted, not having the surgery may have cost a lot more. He will pay the ultimate price. Yes, the ultimate price. Number one, IQ tests do not reflect intelligence. Forest is right here. The state requires a minimum IQ of 80 to attend public school, Mrs. Gump. More than 100,000 people participated in the University of Western Ontario's online intelligence study, taking a variety of cognitive tests and answering questions about their lifestyle and background. How'd you do on the IQ test? 85! <laughs> what? 85, Jerry! 85 IQ! 
the 2012 study concluded that at least three distinct components are needed to measure overall intelligence, and no single score like IQ could accurately describe a person's brain power. Well, no, duh. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. You are goddamn gifted, Private Gump. They also found that regular brain training had no impact. But people who played video games regularly had significantly better reasoning and short-term memory scores. What is he, some kind of freak or something? So what do you think, Brainiac? Are IQ tests helpful? I said stop writing. <laughs> Will you stop writing? For more Sharpest Tool in the Shed Top 10s and Leg Up Program Top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I'm sure you'll feel right at home in the Leg Up Program. Yeah.